Hey guys, it's Pernicia Janae, and I'm going to show you how to take your selfie game from this to this. So stay tuned. Alright, so y'all are going to need an LED rope light. It's by Chapter. You can find it at Walmart. You're also going to need a wire wreath. It's 327 at Walmart as well. It's near the flower, so if y'all get confused. You're going to need some heavy duty aluminum foil. You're going to need a medium cardboard box. You can find it at any Lowe's, U Haul, or any other place that sells boxes. You're going to need a 12 foot extension cord. You're going to need some metallic duct tape. You can find it at Mark Walmart for $337. You're going to need a box cutter. Some scissors. Some markers. And some zip ties. Which you can get clear, but I got black. Alright, so what you're doing here is you're going to trace the outside of the wire wreath. Just to get an outline for the wire wreath. And you're going to trace the inside as well. And then after that, you're going to take your box cutter and you're going to cut the shape out. I usually start from the outside and then go inside. Okay, now that I got the outside cut out, I'm gonna cut inside. Y'all don't do what I did. I'm about to mess up my Pier 1 import table. Look at that. Look at that. That table costs too much for me. We still have been scraping it up with a box cutter. Don't be hard headed like me. Y'all need to put something down, like a towel or something. So here I'm almost done tracing out the cardboard box. I took the easy way out and started cutting it like a knife. Now keep in mind, the circle shape does not have to be absolutely perfect. It's not necessary. So don't freak out if you don't get it to be exactly perfect on the permanent marker lines. So here what I'm doing is I'm going to take that aluminum foil that I showed you guys earlier. I'm going to cut into a rectangle shape and I'm going to wrap it around the circle. I'm kind of tightening it up as I go so you guys can do that. And make sure you kind of make it as flat as possible. And I'm just going to continue to put rectangular shapes of aluminum foil around the circle. Make a complete circle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all see that Michael Kors on my wrist? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> ooh. Man. I know y'all like, when is this girl gonna finish with this circle? But I just really wanna show y'all, like, really how to do this. I don't want y'all saying that I gave y'all some rinky dink instructions. I want y'all to do it the right way. Almost finished, almost finished, almost finished. 
All right, and now we got a full product here. Y'all see the aluminum foil is all the way around, so now you're gonna take your metallic duct tape and you're going to do the exact same thing you did on the aluminum side. You're just gonna do it on the opposite side. So you're gonna take pieces of the tape, whatever you know size you feel comfortable with, and you're going to start to place it on the circle just like you did the aluminum foil and you're gonna go around and do that as well and keep in mind you guys this does not have to be perfect as you can tell I missed a few pieces there so I'm just going back and redoing it over but like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's serving as a backdrop for your ring light. And the aluminum is for the ring light for the light to reflect onto you. And the aluminum helps out with that. Okay, so now we're going to take the chapter LED rope light. And we're going to take it out of the box. Here's the extension cord. That's the part you're going to plug in to light up the, the cord. So now I'm gonna open up the LED lights and I'm gonna show you guys how to put the cord to the back of the wreath so it won't be in the front. So basically what I did is I took the rope LED light and I made sure it fit. and there's how that is supposed to look and now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it in between one of the rails and make sure it's towards the back because you don't want those cords exposed because the light is supposed to reflect onto you and the light should well the cord should not be in the front of it so now I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm going to fasten the LED rope light to the wire. And now I'm going to secure it and I'm going to do this all the way around the wreath. Now where I'm fastening the LED rope light is basically where every metal bar is on the wreath. When I first started out, I put it more towards the middle, but as I went on, I put it more towards the bar. So you're just gonna go around on the outside, just securing and fastening the zip tie and the LED rope light to the outside of the rim. All right, so this part is essential. What I'm gonna do right here is that I'm crossing the LED rope light across to the next row. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that zip tie and you're going to secure it almost on top of it, but not really. And you're just gonna start on the next row. You take the zip tie, secure it, and you start to place the LED lights like you did when you first started out with the wreath. All right, as you can see, I've completed going all the way around and securing the wreath and the LED lights to the wreath. So now I'm going to place the plug towards the back of the wreath. All right. So now y'all see, I have to go back and cut all of these zip ties because you can't leave those on there. So what you're going to do, you're going to cut them 
and you're just gonna make sure you cut them all the way down because those little pieces that you leave on there if they're not cut down enough they can and will cut you I had their problem so Them price is way too high. You need the goodie. Hey. <laughs> Y'all don't mind me. I'm just I'm just watching my video as this goes along. It's just a voiceover for y'all. Alright, so now you're gonna take your wreath after you've cut off all of those zip ties and you're going to position it on top of the aluminum cardboard circle that you did earlier make sure the aluminum that you put on there not the metallic duct tape is facing outwards which is right under the lights so just make sure your aluminum is facing outwards towards you so the light can shine on you now I'm just taking the zip tie and I'm connecting the wire to the cardboard and I'm securing it on the back end of the cardboard so you can secure it by placing the zip tie through one wire or two wires. It really doesn't matter. It's just serving as a purpose to secure that cardboard to the LED rope lights. Alright, so you're just going to continue going around and placing those zip ties on the diva ring light and as y'all can see right here i'm kind of just going opposite ways the first two are going to go towards the center but i started to do them on the outside which it really doesn't matter it's just really serving a purpose to basically hold your cardboard down so you're going to take the extension cord and you're going to take the connector and you're going to go ahead and plug that in to the ring light there's also a screwy piece that you can screw on there after you connect the two and you can screw it on there and make sure this the cord stays inside the D ring light but I didn't do that portion so you just want to take that 12 foot extension cord and the reason why I got this extension cord is because I want to have like free range around you know where I'm going to be filming at. so I just got something that's really long that can stretch from the outlet So what I'm doing here is I'm just connecting the extension cord to the connector. It was kind of hard to push in there, y'all. Y'all gonna have to put some elbow grease behind that. And now I'm going to plug up the diva ring light. And we have light! Yes! All right. Okay, guys. So the stand is optional. It's just an old wig stand. And I use some zip ties to secure it on to the wig stand and this is your finished product thank you guys for watching like and subscribe for me